Hello and welcome to another episode. I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson and in this episode we're going to be talking about the Google Music Manager which is available on your Chrome OS devices such as your Chromebook and Chrome boxes. Uh, what this is, this is going to be Google's very own music streaming service if you don't already know that. Uh, that's going to be kind of useful for anybody that's trying to uh, look to keep all their I guess accounts under one 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 Gmail I guess you would call it. Um, you know, just something is a little easier. Uh, the reason it's so nice to use the Google Play Music is not only it has Chromecast support, but it is also uh, priced relatively, you know, equal to pretty much any other service out there for what you get out of it. And the library is always growing at a substantial rate since Google is such a big company. They can kind of get their library building uh, with pretty much uh, as much ease as you can do that as a corporation. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So you're going to see it's going to be this little uh, icon down at the bottom. Uh, if you don't have it already, you can go ahead and head over to the Chrome store and you can look it up. So once you have that, go ahead and install it. You will, then, uh, you will then notice about it that it's going to come up with this little feature. you got to make sure that you are signed into an account. I do recommend signing into the or making sure you're using the same account that you are signed into your Chrome browser, which I'll show you reasons why in a little bit. So the first uh, icon in the tab that you come into is going to be Listen to Now. So this is kind of just random stuff, I guess, that you've been listening to throughout the uh, time. Uh, my library is going to be music that you have stored in here. I don't have all my music in here quite yet, but I am adding it as we're speaking. Uh, instant mixes is going to be mixes of, you know, if you build anything up, uh, any uh, kind of playlist, I guess you'd call it, it's going to be done, except these are going to be instantly built up for you. So as you see, you know, the name kind of speaks for itself, and it'll mix music that's going to be similar to it. So it doesn't necessarily have to be just purely, you know, Daft Punk. Uh, shop. Now, of course, shop is going to kind of speak for itself. Shop is if you want to go buy music, albums, uh, soundtracks, whatever you uh, are thinking about. That's where you're going to come do it from. So the way Music Manager is going to be working when we have it open, uh, besides the shop, we'll come down and we're going to see what's in queue. So these are going to be our auto playlist. What's in queue, what we've thumbed up, last added, free and purchased, shared with me. So shared with me is going to be anybody that you're friends with on Google+. Plus that if they sh have an option to share their music, this is where you're going to be able to see it from. And Google Play recommendations, which, you know, as every service does out in the world, they always have the music to recommend, and it just kind of keeps you, you know, seeing new things so things don't get boring. These are the local playlists that I have set up as of right now. Coming down to the bottom bar, you're going to see there's going to be the plus, you know, or sorry, the play button, uh, the repeats, uh, random, you know, your volume. This is your Chromecast button. So if you do have a Chromecast, um, a Chromecast installed on your TV or hooked up to your TV, you can go ahead and just click that and it'll stream it directly to your, your TV. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to then show up at the top. This is going to be I'm Feeling Lucky Mix. I'm Feeling Lucky is just going to play random songs, uh, whatever you have in your library. If you have the paid subscription, it will play random songs in general. Uh, New Instant Mix, again, it's going to be the same type of thing, but it's going to be basically off of stuff that you like and stuff that you've used. So when I click that, I just come in here and I type what I'm looking for, and it'll create an Instant Mix over that. Inside of our settings, we're going to have our basic stuff in here. If you're looking to add music, you can go ahead and click right there to add your own music, which is nice for Chrome OS devices because that just got implemented about maybe a month and a half ago, two months ago now. So if you wanted to add music, you'll just click it, click your select from folder, and then go locate the music you're looking for and upload it. Before, we were not allowed to do that in Chrome OS. We would actually needed to hook up another computer or you needed to install Crouton or Kubuntu, uh, which is a dual booting operating system, and you can see that in another channel, or sorry, another playlist within this uh, YouTube channel, if you're interested in that. Uh, so I'm going to play a song real quick, because I want to show you one last cool little feature, so we'll just go ahead and Get this flux pavlon. So you see music's playing now. Let's go ahead and lower that down a bit. Actually, I'll just mute it. Um, the big feature to this that a lot of people, oops, sorry about that, that a lot of people don't realize is going to be in this very corner right here. So that when I said you wanted to be signed into your Chrome browser as well as this in the same account as you see right here, uh, is because when you click this, you're going to get a pop-out instead. 
Uh, we'll do another video, which I'll put a link in the description, you know, when I start getting into the Android side of uh, Google applications that we can sync with our Chrome OS devices. And I'll put a link, like I say, in the bottom in the description, so then you can see the overview of how this interacts and corresponds with the Android, as well as the iOS version of Google Music Manager, or sorry, Google Play Music. Again, thanks for watching. I have been your host, Jonathan Parkinson, and as always, don't forget to subscribe.